happen. The father's perception of his son is probably like, my love for my son is continual and strong. The father probably kissed his son's forehead when the son was asleep at night. The father <coughs> probably prayed for his son every night and the older son had no clue about it. The father probably did all these things for love out of his older son. The older son's perception of life with his father was that he was slaving with him. That even though the father loved him and all that, he didn't perceive it as father's love. He perceived it as I'm slaving for you. And, and you get, you, 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 you let this ridiculous son of yours. That's what he said. Not my brother. This, this son of yours. Waste everything. Waste the medical money for you and mom. I'm prosperous. I'm gambling. I've been slaving for you. And the father has to convince him. As he's outside, not facing home, has to convince him. Look, everything I've had has been yours. I love everything. But you have to understand that what counts is that when someone's loss comes <coughs> home, we bring them in. And we love them. The son, your brother, is lost. He came home. And I love you. And you gotta love me. And even though you're upset, and even though you're bothered, and even though you have what you have, you gotta understand that what counts is that at some point you face home and you go in and realize that he was lost, he's now found, and he's your brother. And everything I have has always been with you, will always be with you. And I love you. What counts is that you face home. You upset? You have every right to be upset. Your older brother has every right to be upset. It makes, so, it makes so much sense. But you have to learn to take ourselves home. I have to learn at times when I see stuff that oh, bothers me. No matter what, I see this parable. And the flu shot I have in me is this, that even when I think some things are unfair and not right, and I'm upset, I can't let my own self-righteousness, my own thinking, my own goodness, keep me on the outside from the grace that God is showing other people on the inside. And the thing is, is that sometimes you may be upset with somebody, and I may be upset with somebody, but God is still going to love them thoroughly. As much as God loves you and you mess up, God's going to love them when they mess up. And the trick is that even though you're good, and even though you may be right, and even though if you have an argument, you may be on the winning side, even though your record is clean, the truth of the matter is that that's not good enough. What matters is that you find it in you to realize that God will make sure every one of his children, whether they're good or bad, will face home. And God will not tire from getting us not only to face home, but to bring us home again. We have different views on everything. And it's one thing to be united with all these views, but sometimes we're upset and we have our different views, our different experiences, our different stories, our different hurts, and we may think, I'm not going inside this time. But God is saying, it doesn't matter if you differ, doesn't matter if you're angry, doesn't matter if you're happy, doesn't matter if you're hurt. What I need you to realize is that we are a family, and this is your brother, and I love him, and he's found. So come home. You will have everything you need with you. Now it's time for you to realize that. Come home. It said, no phrase, our home is the place that whenever you go, they have to let you in. And that is what the father's trying to show this older brother. You may be the older brother. Maybe there's a younger uh, brother in here. And so I hope you have fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, you may be the only brother. I may be the only brother. We're church folk. We're, we're going to be the older brother. And sometimes we get upset. Sometimes we see that there is a party going on that 
God's throne for someone else's life. And it's time that we realize that our own sense of goodness may be the very thing that keeps us outside the party. And it may be time that we realize that God is trying to plead with us and to tell us, I love you too. It's time you face home. It's time you go in. And it's time you experience the love, the joy, and the embrace I always wanted to give you.